All right, howdy and good morning to you. Good, good to see you. Uh, all of us tell ourselves a couple different stories every day. We, we tell uh, the people around us a story, and then sometimes we tell ourselves a story, and sometimes those are two different stories. Sometimes they are the same story, but I'll give you an example. All of us are called uh, to account for the reason that we do certain things. So here's a guy, and he, he, wants to be, he wants to buy a new rifle, a hunting rifle. And his wife asks him why, and he says, well, because... Um, I can get cheap meat. I can get meat a lot more cheaply if I, I go hunting. And so what happens is he spends money for a shotgun and then clothing to hunt in and then a permit and all kinds of things. And by the time it's done, it's like $20 a pound for the meat he is, he is uh, taking. So there's the story he tells his wife and there's the story he tells himself. Why does he want to hunt? He just wants to hunt. Uh, all of us are like that in, to some extent, and, and perhaps sometimes we don't even know ourselves what the real reason is, the reasoning behind uh, why we are doing what we are doing. In Luke chapter 13, you find actually a number of stories here in, in Luke chapter 14 of people who rejected Jesus, who rejected the truth personified, truth in a body, God the Son, and either didn't know why themselves or gave a different reason than the, the real reason. It was a pretense. It was a pretext. You know, the, the small writing at the end of the, the page? This was a pretext. It was a small writing at the front of the page. This was the reason they were giving for rejecting what Jesus said. Jesus was in the synagogue, and it was on the Sabbath. So the place was synagogue time was the Sabbath, and that was the saying for the next several stories. But... Um, Jesus healed a woman on the Sabbath day in the synagogue. And the ruler of the synagogue, the Bible says, answered with indignation. Why? Because, here was the cause, that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day. And I read out, I laughed out loud when I read this. And said to the people, um, there are six days in which men ought to work. In them, therefore, come and be healed. And not on the Sabbath day. So if you're going to be healed, do it Monday through Friday office hours. Don't do it on, on the Sabbath day. Don't do it on Saturday. Well, that's laughable on the face of it. Let me ask you a question. What was the leader of the synagogue? What was his stated objection? Well, the stated objection was you shouldn't be healing on the Sabbath day. That was his take on the, the law. Um, what was the real reason? Do you think this, this uh, leader of the synagogue would have been happy if Jesus had healed on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday in his synagogue? The text does not tell us directly, but I rather doubt that he would have. In other words, he just wanted Jesus out of the synagogue. But the reason he gave was because, the cause is because you shouldn't be healing on the Sabbath day. Jesus calls him a hypocrite. That is, he's two-faced. He is an actor. Doth not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? If you take care of one of your animals, he asks, on Saturday, why would you not allow someone uh, to be healed on Saturday? As, as Jesus had said in the previous chapter, God cares about the ravens. If he cares about ravens, he cares much more about people, much more about you. So uh, when it was all said and done, his adversaries were ashamed and all the people rejoiced for the glorious things that were done of him. So when Jesus brought out the actual reason, those who had made the reason as a pretense were ashamed and those who saw the truth, re rejoiced. All of us do this every day, and usually we don't even know it when we're doing it. We, sometimes I give myself reasons that are not really the reason. Usually I do what I want to do, and then I make up, re I reason in my mind, I, I give people a reason to justify what I'm doing. Jesus calls such things hypocrisy. Later in the second chapter, Jesus talks about those who make excuse. Pretense is is beforehand what excuse is on the, on the tail end. And that is, in both cases, instead of just following the truth and stating it, we find a reason, we find an excuse, and, and we give that instead. Um, an intention is why I do something. A pretension is, or a pretense is why I state what I do. And, and pretension is just a pretended intent. Pretense and intention equal pretension. It's a pretended reason for, for doing what I'm doing. The excuse is the exact same thing on the opposite end. So today, may God help us to be clear with ourselves, to be honest with ourselves, and to do the same thing with other people. Because when I follow the truth, I speak the truth. And those who love the truth have little need for either pretense or excuse.